Hey gang, this is Dan Shank with Stringer Arts coming back at you with another video. And this one is a long time coming. Many of you have, have asked me, where is my third video for Sergetti? And here it is. And I apologize for the long delay. Just had a lot of things going on, moving into a new pro shop. Definitely had some other uh, business issues that I was dealing with at the time, as well as some personal things that I had to get taken care of. So hopefully we're gonna be back on track and I'm gonna get a lot more videos updated this year for you guys, as well as those giveaways that I promise in the future. The good news is, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about Sergetti. I have some video footage that I'm definitely gonna upload and share and show you some of the on-court uh, features and functionality of what Sergetti can do, what it feels like, how it can benefit you, and how it could hurt you. There's definitely pros and cons to using the Sergetti method to string your rackets. In my opinion, there's more pros than cons, but we'll get into that further on in the video. And then there's also a discount and a promotion code that I can provide for you guys. So if you did want to try it out because you think it's something for you, you can definitely check in the description of this video down below. I will post the link um, with my discount applied so that way you can go ahead and get 15% off your, your sheets every time you use my discount code so you can get multiple sheets. Now, to start off, let me reiterate that Sergetti, if you don't know your exact string and you don't know your exact tension, it can get pretty pricey because every time you change rackets, every time you change string, and every time you change tension, you're gonna need a new sheet. However, there is a caveat to that. If the string that you use and the string that you decide to switch to happen to be in the same category, Sergetti uses five categories, then you won't need to purchase another sheet as long as the racket and the tension remain the same. But if you change racket or change tension, even if you use the same string, you need to get a new sheet. That's just the way it is. So I definitely advise you to find the racket and string and tension that you like conventional methods first before you purchase Sergetti. That way, once you purchase the Sergetti sheet, you may have to adjust the tension here or there, but you're not gonna spend as much money trying to find that golden goose, as they say, by purchasing all of those sheets that really um, aren't going to help you to establish what you really want to go. So the pros right now, let me cover the pros. So the pros of Sergetti is if you have any arm issues, shoulder tendonitis, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, anything like that, Sergetti plays so much com more comfortable than the traditional methods. It's so much easier on the arm. I can play with a full bed of poly with no issues, whereas normally a full bed of poly bothers my elbow and I had the hybrid. So that's one of the advantages of Sergetti. If you have tennis elbow, definitely recommend trying it. That will soften up the string bed. It's gonna give you a bigger sweet spot. So even on some hits that are a little off center, it will help. If you're hitting off the frame, Sergetti's not gonna help you. You're just gonna keep hurting your arm. But if you're hitting inside the frame, but outside the sweet spot, and your fuzz is all over the place like mine is, then Sergetti will definitely give you some help. If you need more power, Sergetti's gonna give you a boost in power. Hands down, it's gonna be more powerful. If you need a boost in spin, Sergetti definitely will give you a little bit more spin potential on the racket. If you need more control, this is where Sergetti can actually hinder you a little bit. Because of the boost in power, you might tend to hit the ball a little longer or you're gonna notice that the actual angle that your ball goes over the net is gonna change. So you're gonna actually hit the ball a little higher over the net. So if you're a flatter hitter and you're dialed in and you're hitting you know, pretty deep in the court, Sergetti may make you start hitting the ball out even though it does provide a little added spin because you're a flatter hitter. Now, if you're a super heavy topspin player and your balls are landing short, that extra power from Sergetti might help you get those balls a little deeper. So that's where that can come into play and that can help you a little bit. The other thing that you're gonna notice with Sergetti is that the playing durability, in my opinion, is pretty long. About I get about three weeks playability duration where I can tell the difference between a Sergetti strong racket and a conventional. After about three weeks, I tend to not notice the Sergetti as much. So if you like to string your racket often, you can definitely um, benefit from Sergetti. But if you're the type of person that you string your racket maybe once every six months, for the first three weeks, you're gonna have a fantastic string bed. It's gonna feel great. You're gonna hit awesome, but then it's just gonna kind of die on you and you're not gonna feel that same wonderful 
bigger sweet spot that Sergetti provides. So I just want to give you that little caveat there that there is a little bit of a time duration and how long Sergetti is going to be playable. Me, I like to restring my racket every three to four weeks anyway. So I don't mind paying for the Sergetti sheet. But here's the great thing. If you pay for the sheet one time, you have it. You don't need to buy another sheet as long as your string tension and racket stay the same. There's no reason to buy another sheet. So you just pay the money once. And it's $23 a sheet if you pay retail price. If you use my code, you're gonna save a little over $3. So it comes out to be about $19 and change per sheet, which is great because it's a one-time cost for you to try. And if you love it, then you have a fantastic new weapon in your hands. So I definitely encourage you to try it out. Now in the videos below, you're gonna see me when I'm first hitting with it, I'm actually using a hybrid. And I'm having a hard time reining in the power. You're gonna notice that when I'm hitting with the red strings. Now in the second video, part two, or I guess you could say part four of the Sergetti um, string test, you're gonna see I'm hitting with a full bed of poly and I actually just recorded that one um, yesterday as a matter of fact. So when you see that video, you're gonna see me hitting singles with a full bed of poly and I'm dialed in. I can really hit the ball well. It's comfortable even with a full bed of poly. Like I said, no arm issues and I've had shoulder surgery, I've had elbow surgery and I'm using a stiffer racket because I'm, I'm using a pure arrow plus again and I'm still having no arm issues since going to the Sergetti method. I'm actually using the Signum Pro Firestorm in that video. Hands down, excellent string. And I'm gonna use that same video to talk about that string. But for Sergetti purposes, I just wanted you guys to be able to see these two videos, kind of see the contrast. One was a hybrid, one was a full bed of poly, one was two on one drills. I'm just kind of hitting the ball back and forth and then the other one is a just full blown singles. I hope you enjoy these videos. Definitely could use a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like them and definitely better content coming in the future. Thanks so much.
for a second one through. 